Guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Adam from CX Exotics. Hope you're all doing well today. This is it. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. The winner announcement of the 1,000 subscriber giveaway, both on the UK and the US side. Um, I know you guys have been really, really, really patient with this one. I've left this running about a week now, just so we can get the comments and get the subscriber count up, and you guys have done really, really well. You smashed me over a thousand subscribers really, really quickly. So, from the bottom of my heart, I know I keep saying it, but thank you so, so much. Before we get to the winner, we're going to pull clutch number nine of the season, which was a yellow belly bred to a yellow belly. Um, I just want to get some um, yellow belly, some ivory females to hold back for future pairings. Um, so, it's nice, simple breeding, nothing too fancy. We know what's going to be in there yellow bellies normals or, or ivories um, but it looks like she's laid a nice big clutch of nice pearly white eggs um, I think I saw one slug but I can't be sure um, so let's take a look at those um, now pull them out put them in the incubator box into the incubator and then we'll get on to drawing the winners for the thousand subscriber giveaway let's take a look now okay guys so as I said this is a yellow belly to yellow belly pairing um, she started laying this morning. I posted a couple of pictures up on Instagram <clears throat> to give you sort of a, um, a heads up. Um, but it looks like a nice clutch under there. I think I can see a slug, but I'm not quite sure. Um, so let's pull this clutch. She's not very happy with me. I might have to do it a different way. Bear with me, guys. Okay, guys, so we've actually pulled her onto the floor. Um, a bit of a funny angle. Um, so we're gently trying to unravel her from these eggs. Some really nice size eggs. That was nice and painless. A couple of boob eggs there. Um, it does actually appear she's got one more in her actually, but she was called around these eggs quite nicely. Um, so give me a second, let me pull these eggs out because we're going to have to leave her back in because she's definitely got another one in there. So bear with me two seconds guys. Well guys, as you can see, we do have one slug there. Uh, but other than that, we have two, four, six, eight, nine eggs. Um, we'll have to check this one as well. Um, but some nice, really sized eggs in here. Some nice big ones. So I'm going to gently try and pull these apart. Now, I know they haven't been laid for that long, because obviously we saw her laying them this morning. So we'll pop these eggs ever so gently into the egg box. And then we'll candle them in a second. Make sure they're the right way up and all that. I just want to get these eggs in the box and then we can worry about um, the orientation and things like that in a second. Um, I just want to make sure that they're out so we can get mum back in to lay that last egg. So I'll take that paper off there in a second. Let's just get these eggs in and out the way. We'll chuck these up here for a second. We'll get rid of the slug egg because that is no good to anybody. So that can go straight in the bin. We'll get this tub back in the rack. It's my phone tinging. Um, and we'll go and get mum who's just in here for a second. Because I want her to lay that last egg. You can see that guys, you can see that noticeable swell right by the vent. So she will lay that without trouble. Um, and even if she doesn't lay that, it's close enough to the vent for me to be able to sort of palpate it out. So we'll leave her in peace to lay that last egg. I did actually think she was finished because you know, the co uh, tail was outside the coil and it was all coiled up, but there we go. So a nice big clutch from this girl. I'm going to have to rearrange these eggs somewhat. Let's count them first. Okay. So they're all looking really good. These ones, are, that one and that one, I have to turn around. Same. Okay, so that is unfortunately a slug. Um, no veins in that whatsoever, even if you turn it. So 
that's really a shame but it's definitely no no veins in that whatsoever no matter what angle you look at so that's a shame yeah it's definitely nothing in that shame okay so another slug um, if you notice on these ones these ones we will have to turn slightly to find the embryo make sure it's the right way up I'm just going to pop the camera down for one second guys ok guys so sorry about that the camera cut out at the worst possible time um, so it's been probably uh, an hour since I've been charging my camera um, these were just put into the incubator just to keep warm um, so we can go back and check on that female to see if she's laid that last egg or not Yes, yeah, she has. Look at that, bless her heart. She's coiled around one egg. Let's see if we can get her off this one egg. Should be nice and easy. Should be able to just... It's a good egg too. I should be able to just go in there and, and steal that, like so. So we can shut this up. We'll get her cleaned off here in a second. Um, so here is that last egg. Um, same rules apply, let me shut the lights off, let's give it a quick candle, make sure it's a good egg. And as you can see, it is a beautiful egg. Really good egg. And the right way up as well, I believe. Yeah. So, pop the light back on. So, this should just fit in this box, um, without touching the sides. I might have to jiggle some around, um, but for the most part it should fit. What you don't want to do guys is for any of the eggs to be touching the sides because the air sides will be build up the moisture. Um, and although moisture is what these eggs need to thrive, it's um, direct moisture um, is not good, hence why we use a substrate. So I'm just going to take these scissors. That I've got handy just to make sure they're all in there, not over touching the sides, like so. Because we don't want them to be touching the sides. Um, just get a bit from there, pop it down there to wedge that, make a wall, and then just pack it down. So there we go guys, so a really good clutch there, so two, four, six, eight, nine good eggs and two slugs, so an incredible clutch really when you think about it um, from that girl. Hoping for some ivory females to hold back, um, obviously we can guarantee um, passing on the yellow belly to whatever's bred to them then, so um, a good, good snake to have in your collection definitely um, is an ivory. Um, so there we go guys, nine beautiful eggs, um, I'm not going to mark them because I can't find my pen, uh, but I know they're the right way up because I checked while I was candling them. Um, so these are going to go in the incubator now, um, and these are due the 21st of July. This is clutch number nine um, of the season, so the season's going really well for me. Really, really, really well. Um, as we put these into the incubator, I'm going to give you a quick peek pop these in there I have already done a clutch card which will sit on top I'm going to give you a quick quick peek at this clutch here the leper clutch I will be doing an update clean up video on these but I just want to give you a quick quick peek so we have um, a straight leopard here, um, really nice busy pattern on that one, jet blacks, a nice little head stamp, love the tail end of the snake. So we've got a straight leopard there, this is just a fire, I say just a fire, it's absolutely beautiful, but that's a fire. And um, this one is either a super pastel leopard or it's a firefly leopard I'm not sure which, I think it's a super 
pastel leopard, just judged by the insane blushing on the head. Now that the camera isn't really doing its job in focusing here. But yeah, absolutely stunning. Can't wait till we uh, do the clean up video. Um, and then this one, we have another, what looks like a pastel leopard. Um, that's either a leopard or a normal. That's that's a definite pastel leopard in this one. At least a pastel leopard. The insane patterns on there. And this one, this one is, I think, just a normal. That one. Sorry, this one here. It looks normal to me from here. I could be wrong. Uh, but that's just a sneak peek, guys. Um, obviously, waiting for them all to come out of the egg, and then I will do an update video. Hopefully these four will be out by the morning, um, and if so, that video will be up tomorrow at some point. Um, but a quick, quick peek at the leopard clutch. Okay guys, so as you can see, my lovely face is plastered in the middle of your screen. So we're going to go ahead and get the link off this video. Copy that. And then we're going to the random comment picker pop the link in there scroll down a bit I'm doing this one handed guys uh, get comments 213 unique commenters so that's awesome again thanks to everyone for their participation in this giveaway it's been a really fun one to do for you guys um, so what we're going to do is we're going to pick a UK winner and then we'll pick the US winner or whatever comes first. The US winner comes up first, and obviously we do it that way. Um, either which way. So what I want to say before we start, guys, is from the bottom of my heart, I know I say this all the time, but thank you, thank you so, so much for all the support, all the interest, all the awareness that you guys have been giving the channel. The channel has exploded, and that's really down to you, um, and I really, really appreciate that. Um, but if you're not lucky enough to win this giveaway, please please don't worry i will be doing lots more and i'm going to do a try a try and do some more collabs with some us breeders um just to make that um a bit more exciting for you guys to want to be a part of um so without further ado guys i'm going to stop wafting on because that's all i seem to be doing um and let's pick the first winner um so here we go guys good luck and the winner or well, the first winner of the thousand subscriber giveaway is winner winner chicken dinner here in Texas hoping for the win that is repping reptiles so you are the American winner of the thousand subscriber giveaway and you win two hundred and fifty dollars credit to spend with none other than always evolving pythons so congratulations repping reptiles it's comment again a winner winner chicken dinner here in texas hoping for the win well buddy you got the win um and you got that 250 dollars um credit to go and spend with miguel um i will pass your details on to him um if you could also um reach out to him as well just sort of a double confirmation um, that you're the winner of the first subscriber giveaway for TA Exotics and I'm sure you two can sort of sort things out between yourselves and how you're going to proceed um, and how you're going to spend your money. So congratulations again. Well guys that's the American winner uh, so congratulations once again you're going to get an awesome snake I'm sure with your credit at Always Evolve and Pythons. Uh, now we're going to move on to the UK winner and don't forget guys we have got a few babies here that are ready. Um, we've got some that aren't quite ready yet, but we've also got lots more stuff in the incubator for you guys to choose from. I've just hatched another clutch, well, my first clutch of leopards and leopard combos, and they're looking really cool. Um, they're not all out the egg yet, but most of them are. Um, so if you're the UK winner, guys, don't don't jump at the chance just to get what I've got available. Um, we'll, we'll talk, and you can decide um, what you want from what I have. Um, I've also got a show, a table up in the Doncaster show in September. Um, so you've always got the option to, to leave it until then and pick anything on the table. Um, again, we can discuss between ourselves privately. Um, but let's go and pick that UK winner and make someone's day. 
Okay guys, so we're gonna pick the second winner. If we do pick another US winner, then we will just roll on until we pick a UK winner. Um, so good luck to everybody in the UK that's entered. Um, again, thanks for all your support. You've been amazing. Um, let's get this started. The winner, or the UK winner of the 1,000 sub giveaway is... Andrew Monday. Love to be in the 1,000 giveaway. Please, loving them super fires, look awesome as ever. Well, Andrew, buddy, you are the winner, or the UK winner of the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, congratulations, honestly, um, really, really well deserved. If you could get hold of me in the next 24 hours, that would be fantastic. Um, email me at taexotics at gmail.com. DM me on Instagram if you're on there, and we can talk snakes. Um, so, guys, that's it. We're done. The first subscriber giveaway is complete. Now, never fear. If you haven't won this time, there will be lots of more opportunities to win my giveaways. I do do them quite regularly, and I plan on doing another one very, very soon. Um, so that's it, guys. Well, there we have it, guys. There's the two winners of the 1,000 subscriber giveaway from myself in association with Miguel over at Always Evolve and Pythons. This one's been really fun. Um, you guys have got involved so, so well. It's been really cool reading all your comments, seeing our new subscribers join the channel, um, even seeing some of the subscribers um, commenting on past videos. So you're not just in it for the, for the giveaway. A lot of you are actually supporting the channel, going back on um, past videos and giving me lots of feedback. So I really do appreciate that, guys. Um, but that's it. I'm going to be doing another giveaway soon. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, but what more can I say? Thank you so much for your support. Um, I'm almost sad it's over. I want to do another giveaway straight away. Um, but I'm going to leave it a little while. And then I'll, I'll be sure to bring you guys another one. And I'm going to try and do another US associated breeder one as well. So we can get some more US breeders or Canadian breeders um, over that side of the pond. Getting involved. Um, sort of raising the channel. Helping me out. Me helping them out. It, it's, it's a great community to be a part of guys. Um, you probably picked one of the best hobbies in the world to be in. Um, and I really do mean that. Um, there's nothing else to show in this video. Um, so we've got clutch number nine, like you just saw. Uh, yellow belly to yellow belly. Hoping for some ivory females to hold back. Um, just because I want to put, uh, guarantee putting a yellow belly into future projects. So obviously ivory is a good way to go. Um, but that's it. Thank you so, so much for your support. Thanks for tuning in once again. Um, stay on the channel, keep watching, keep subscribing, keep sharing, and I will be doing another giveaway very, very soon. So thanks to everyone for your support, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.